pinaagi og mga panahom kabahin sa pagama og mga content sa social media. Kinigikan sa usasa mga sikat nga content creator we have this morning. What's up, Tony? Hello, Tony. What's up? Welcome to GMA Hello. TV Live. Mayong buntag. Ayong Buntag! Thank you so much for having me here on GMA, the biggest TV network in the Philippines. I'm so excited to be here. And it's our pleasure to have you on the program. First of all, congratulations, Tony, for reaching more than a million followers on Facebook. How do you feel about this milestone? Thank you so much. Oh, wow. It's been such a journey. It's been, you know, five years that I've been grinding from zero to one million followers. And it's always been my dream, my milestone, to hit that amount. So when I finally hit it, it was like such a relief for me. I finally made my dream come true, pretty much. And uh, I'm just so grateful for everyone who's helped me get there. Big shout out to Naz Dehli. He was my, my mentor and Project Nightfall for helping me to make my dream come true. Wow, we're so happy for you for reaching this milestone. By the way, where are you based right now, Tony? What has been your daily routine these days? So I am based mostly out of Dubai. I've set up a company now uh, in Dubai, so I have to be there quite often. Um, but I, right now, I'm here in Australia visiting my parents, my mom and my dad. Uh, my mom is a Filipina, for those of you who don't know. And I haven't seen them in two years. So it's so nice to finally come home and see my family. Wow, we're so happy that you're reunited with your parents. Our best regards to them. <laughs> and Tony, Thank once you. ago, we saw in one of your vlogs, you mentioned that you resigned from Nas Daily. What prompted you to quit? Yeah, I quit Nas Daily. What a clickbait title, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, just to give a little bit of background information, I was working there for one and a half years for Nas Daily, one of the world's biggest content creators, helping him make his own videos. But it was kind of, it was always my dream to make my own videos, to be my own content creator. Um, so, I was working with him, helping him make his own videos, but on the weekends, I would make my own videos. Um, and when I reached around 500,000 followers, I thought, okay, maybe it's about time that I start thinking about leaving. So when I hit, I think, 700,000, that was when I made the decision to really leave and work on my own page full-time to pursue my dream and hit a million followers and uh, become my own content creator. So that's what prompted me to leave. But even though I left, I'm so grateful towards everything that he's given me. You know, he taught me all the secrets of content creation. And you also mentioned about becoming antisocial, which is quite... In contrast, no, with the huge following that you yes. have on social media, what happened there, Tony? Yeah, I think a lot of people, you know, when they see your video online, they think, oh, he's so social, he's so outgoing. Mm. But the truth is, behind these videos is a lot of not going out, mm. you know. So, when I was working with Nas Daily, it was Monday to Friday, making his videos, mm. and then I would spend Saturday, Sunday, making my own videos. Mm. So, there was no time to go out with friends, to go and visit my family, to go watch movies, to go Netflix. So I consciously surrendered those, um, those socializing aspects and decided to stay inside and just make videos all day long. And now that you're managing your own team, what's it like to finally have your own company? Do you also have Filipinos on your team? Yes, we have a lot of Filipinos on the team. Uh, we're now a team of 30 people from all around the world. And Tony, why do you think it's worth it to go into online videos? with all of the people already doing it these days? Um, I think when you say all of the people doing it these days, I think there's so much more space for even more people to do it. And it's definitely so much more worth it. Um, because when it comes to content creation, really the sky is the limit. You see people with 100 million followers, uh, you know, 10 million followers, 1 million followers. How high can you go? It's more about content creation. What is your favorite thing about doing this? And What's your least favorite thing about doing this also? <laughs> My favorite thing about doing this, I would say, is um, realizing that videos actually have the power to change people's minds and people's perspectives. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people, when they see video content creation, they think it's just fun, you know, uh, making videos about random things about your life. But some videos, if you make them correctly, actually have the power to change people's lives. And Tony, with your training and experience, what is the best piece of advice you could give a newbie or all the other aspiring Filipinos who want to give vlogging a try? Oh, for sure. I have a good piece of advice that I hope you will all listen to. Um, one thing is that a lot of people will try and bring you down. They will try and tell you that you, you can't become a vlogger, you can't become a celebrity or 
or anything like that. Instead, you should be a nurse, a doctor, an engineer. You know, this is the typical Filipino route. Uh, route. But uh, if you want to truly become one of these, you have to put in the effort to make it a reality. Finally, Tony, mm -hmm. what's your message to all of your Filipino followers and to all our Kapuso viewers watching us right now? My message to you is just keep on following your dreams. You know, don't listen to those people who try and pull you down. Just keep on working hard, keep on grinding, and you can make your dreams come true. That's it. Simple. Dagang salamat, Tony. Thank you for being such an inspiration. Salamat. Thank you for having me. Take care. Take care.